Okay, this next procedure, what I want to show is how to check the computer driver and control wire when you don't have a scan tool with bi-directional capabilities or when you have a vehicle that doesn't offer that bi-directional capability. So what you need to do is you need the driver in the computer to turn on and use the test light just like we did in the bi-directional mode. But to get the computer driver to turn on, you have to meet the conditions that that driver would normally turn on. So you have to do a little bit of homework. You gotta determine when, what temperature, what engine load, does it need to be in gear, does there need to be a vehicle speed. Fortunately for us, on this design, all we need to do is start the car, let it stabilize a little bit, go into closed loop, and then raise the idle speed, and that's gonna command this uh, EGR to open, and we'll be able to show you that with the test light. So that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and start the car. <clears throat> test light's on the control wire right now. Notice the test light is not lit, indicating the circuit is not active. And when I rev this engine, that light should light. What's happening as I rev this, computer's commanding the EGR to open, which would be normal during a, a part throttle condition. You see it at low speed, you see the flicker in the light. As a pulse width modulated solenoid. All right, kill it. What that showed you, it doesn't matter the pulsing aspect of it, every solenoid is going to operate differently. All you want to make sure for this test, does that test light light? If it lights, that tells you the control wire is good and the driver is good. Again, this was a ground side switch circuit. Our test light for this test is connected to battery positive. We want to see if the computer's providing a ground. Test light connected to battery positive. The reverse polarity of what we did when we energized the solenoid, ground side switch solenoid needed the test light connected to ground to energize the solenoid. To check the driver, you switch the polarity of your test light, go on the same control wire, meet the conditions, turn the driver on, test light should light. This isn't the only way to check the driver for a computer. If that's a working solenoid, you can simply monitor that circuit for voltage, Command the driver on, what should your voltmeter do? Reading voltage on a ground side switch wire, voltage should drop when the driver commands it on. That's another effective way of checking these. And uh, I'm showing the test light version again though because I'm showing you a method that you can check the driver when you have a bad solenoid and you can't rely on the solenoid voltage drop to tell you the driver's good so we put a test light in its place. That's it, control testing with a test light control wire and driver.